Well, boy, oh boy, was I wrong about the crypto market uh, a couple of months ago. So uh, in the start of November, the crypto seemed to be on its way back up. It seemed to be getting up to like 21 a thousand dollars. I think this is all. This is all going good uh, after a long kind of period of just pretty much flatness. I thought this. This is it. Go, got to change if we just. And uh, but the news at this time was there was some fishy news about FTX maybe not being solvent. FTX being the largest, uh, one of the largest exchanges out there. Well, Binance being the largest, but FTX being one of the the fastest growing ones there. And I was thinking, ah, well. If if the FTX stuff is fine and Binance was about to buy it and go into it, I thought, yeah, cool, we're going to go on another leg up. Not a problem. Binance did their due diligence. They checked the finances of FTX and said, we're not buying any of this whatsoever. And it went, there was a bank run on FTX. FTX ran out of Bitcoin, ran out of all of its... Uh, uh, Ethereum. Uh, it seemingly been playing with uh, people's money on exchanges and losing billions of dollars. So people got liquidated. People lost their money. You couldn't take money out of your exchange. Fortunately, I, I read about this time. I took out what I had in it in terms of uh, crypto. So I took out my Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that stuff. That was all taken out. However, what I did have, which I couldn't move, was tokenized shares. I had shares of uh, Tesla and Twitter and uh, MicroStrategy as well, uh, which was doing well. Uh, but you can't take them out because they were kind of things on the platform. Uh, you could only kind of cash them out and, uh, well, you couldn't cash them out. So at the moment, we've still got around about $3,000 worth of uh, tokenized shares whether I will ever see that again or not, I don't. I have absolutely no clue whatsoever. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that, that was a bad time. I went uh, down into the ground and everyone was like, this is the worst. It's all over the news, all over the news. Terrible, 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 terrible. So, yeah, my initial idea was like, maybe if this FTX isn't so great, it's going to go down to maybe 19,000. Back down to around about this area. No, it pile-drived down into the ground. 15,000. Uh, 15500 right about there, uh, and that was $15,000 as well, so, whoa. and uh, there was a wee bit of a bounce, and then everyone saw all the Solana tokens getting absolutely hammered, they were getting sold off because uh, FTX had a huge share of Solana, Solana that was really their boy that they kind of pumped up, so was, when Solana was falling, people were just losing all confidence at the market, it was pile driving into the ground, it was really sucking. Um, and it's just stayed like that. So the news has just been dreadful all over December. There was just no good news coming out anywhere. Um, and it's been absolute rubbish. And then it started of uh, at the start of 2023. Still nothing. Super flat. The, the main news uh, during this time was that this is the the least volatile asset or the least volatile time that Bitcoin has ever been. It's never been this stable. So yeah, it's great. But it's really low. And what they're just saying is there was just nobody nobody really selling. So the only people that were selling were, were kind of uh, people that were getting liquidated and people, the, the big players. Um, but they're saying everyone else that has bought in, everyone's like, I'm not going to bother selling now. It's, it's effectively worthless. Or you're a long-term holder. You're kind of going, there's no point selling now. I'm waiting until it goes up. So there was just very little action over kind of Christmas, New Year time, obviously super flat. And you can see that by the volume candles down here, absolutely barely anything. However, in the last couple of days, it's had a it's a it's had a massive pump up. In fact, can we get a percentage of how much has gone up? So let's see around about here up to here. We've had a yeah, a 27% pump in a week. I uh, around about that, depending on where you, where you put your your time uh, stamps. There maybe twenty five percent in five days, if you want to call it. It's had a little bit of uh, stabilization, a bit of a retracement again. So we talk about where it's come. Uh, well, well, where it is just now. You're still talking a twenty two percent increase in 
less than a week. So that is, and the volume candles have gone huge. Everyone's going, what is going on here? I think there's been a lot of shorts that have been liquidated. So people that were shorting the currency, thinking it was going to go down further, they uh, had a short squeeze. So they obviously had to buy uh, back in. There's also the idea that BlackRock and uh, some other companies are, uh, are starting to buy up their amounts of actual Bitcoin. Um, all that kind of stuff. The the other chat all around here was that the miners, the major mining companies were going bankrupt because they couldn't afford all their electricity costs. Um, and yet the hash rate or the difficulty rate of Bitcoin was still increasing. So these people were having to use more electricity, getting less money for the Bitcoin that they sell. And we're just like, we're going bankrupt. So that was another worry around about here. But now... We've had a big pump up, back up to uh, over twenty thousand dollars in under a week. Everyone's like, "Holy shit, we are on the bull run again! Let's get to the moon!" <laughs> so, so there is the idea that this could have been the bottom. Uh, if we scroll back, it. If we can, we get it all into the screen here. That so we thought that this might have been the bottom back here. So this was a long piece of stability when it was at seventeen thousand six hundred uh, dollars. Here we thought that was the dump, but then we had the FTX dump going on here, and that brought it down here. So maybe fifteen thousand. There are still people claiming that the twelve thousand, the ten thousand, the nine thousand level for Bitcoin is still in the in the works, which would take it. <sighs> off the chart, uh, can we, I would bring it all the way down to here. So if we just draw a line on that one, we'll just drop, so from here down to here, that seems like a monumental dump to get down to the, the ten, you know, even the 12,000, 10,000, the 9,000, that seems, I don't know how it could go that far. The, Point being that we've had the Luna crash, we've had the Celsius crash, we've had the uh, Voyager crash, we've had <laughs> the FTX crash. Uh, all these players are now out of the system that were massively gambling and losing everybody's cash. That for it to have this huge a drop, like another 50% drop, you know, when FTX $32 billion was lost in a day, and there's people going to jail, there's people running from countries and all that kind of stuff. Uh, the American government are after people for this. Uh, hundreds of companies potentially went bankrupt uh, just all within a week because it was so integrated with everything. Um, and so if we put this down to like 10,000, so that'd be like, a, what's that, 48. This drop here was a 20% drop. Maybe, where was it? Deepest there. 23, 24, 25% drop. How, what could cause that all the way down here? Because it just doesn't seem to be anybody really willing to sell. And it seems like all the people that were gambling with it are, have been liquidated and are out of the system. So I am, I am in the belief that that was the bottom. Like, that was it. Uh, if, we, if we scroll all the way out... And we look at the the kind of chart that that looks like a pretty pretty serious bottom. If we change the the time period to days, that that seems like a pretty pretty good drop. So if if I were to draw what I would have thought the path should have been, should have been down to here, maybe a a bump up here, and then down to here, and then down, and that should have been the final capitulation moment and I do get the impression that this may go up and then up and then pa -pa! <laughs> off the screen. That's, that's my only impression that I'm getting uh, going on there uh, just now. So if I, if we go back, oh, no, nope, off, no, nope, off, don't need the brush. No, nope, still don't need the brush. That's what I need. If we go back to here, this, this, uh, where was it? This one here, if we could just mimic that up, down, up again, down, up and up, and then drop, mega drop. That just seems like what we have actually done right here. So, yeah, I'm under the impression that the, the bottom has been in. 
and uh, we are definitely going to be going on the way back up. It's not going to be a straight straight line in any sort of way. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs, uh, but this 20,000 we're at means that a lot of the miners are back into, not necessarily profit, but they're not going bankrupt. Um, and I just think that there's certain levels where the big companies will go, oh, right, this is an asset on the move up, let's buy in. And it's all around this area here. So I just, I think that this area here is going to be a very interesting area. So my prediction, is there a way I can get uh, more of a brush? I think it's going to come, oh, uh, maybe more here, up, here, and then uh, once we get past 28, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. That's the kind of path uh, I would, I suspect we are going to be in. So this here, this here, this is this is my Bollinger bands that I'm I'm expecting going on here. Let's see if I'll, I'll leave this map up here. Uh, see if that's where it goes. But the, this is kind of the area that I'm expecting. That taking up to April. The only other thing is like for tax reasons, there might be some additional selling uh, going on. So some people, uh, some of the big companies might need to do sell. But I think they've all done uh, their selling that they need to do. So if I just do maybe a tax issue. Oh no, uh, whoops, uh, do, where was it? That was all red. Uh, if we do a tax issue, I just think maybe there might be a little bit of another drop down to about here, but then it's still, I'm still seeing it up to here. So we're going to like April, May, June time. Okay, so I'm going to leave this map up here. We'll see how it goes over the next couple of months. But yeah, it seems like all the big players have been kicked out of the, the, out of the field. Uh, I think that fifteen thousand five hundred was the the absolute bottom, and it's now we're now back into our recovery phase, and there's still nobody really wanting to sell. So anybody buying is just pushing the price up, unless there's some major tax issues. Or the only other thing would be if something like Tether came out and said, "Oh, we actually don't have enough money," or if Binance comes out and says, "Oh, we're struggling to pay something," that will be a big issue. But I don't see that happening over the next couple of months. I think this might be happy times going on from here, here on in. So we'll see how that goes. That's my predictions uh, for the for the future just now. So yeah, that's how, if you look at that map, that's how I see it. So let's see, April, May area, maybe around about 35, anywhere between 35 and 28 area. I'll put that as a... Uh, as a circle here so April May this is where I think we are going to be obviously it's not an exact science and it's mostly just guesswork but from my experience in the past this is where I think it will be over the next uh, few months because it's just the start of uh, was it just the start of January just now okay there you go that's what I'm thinking cheers bye bye